Hello and welcome to Expo Hub. Here we teach you the best things that you need to know about UiPath. Uh, today in this uh, chapter we will learn uh, the basics of sequence. Okay, how do you start a project and what is sequence? So let's get started. First thing, uh, once you get onto the home page of UiPath, right? Click on home and here you have something called start and I need to click on process. So it will tell what is that name. So here I will say basic sequence project. Okay. The earlier version of UiPath uh, when you are giving a space was giving error. So now this has been rectified. Uh, this has been improved. Now here I will give the details. This is a basic sequence project all right and I click on create so once a sequence is created that get uh, that get uh, stored in the document section okay and here you can see in the documents uh, you will have a folder called UI path and inside this UI path you will have all your projects getting saved. So right now we have created basic sequence project and this got saved here. Now if you click on here, the main.xml, right? Uh, this is the file where your project actually stays. Whatever you will design will come in main. And these are all your supporting files. So when you have to transfer your project to somebody else, you know, the entire folder, you can zip it and transfer it to anybody who wants to run that bot, okay? So this is the basic. Now, let me start with so the first thing I said there are you know, four different types one is uh, actually I would consider three one is a sequence flowchart and state machine so in this video we will learn about sequence so sequence has a top to bottom approach that means whatever you are defining the top it will first execute then the second then the third then the last one right this has the top to bottom approach flow chart is something you know depending on the flow depending on the conditions you know how it should work right so depending on that the flow chart is used and state machine is depend you know works on the state generally for a bank project let's say right that's where you will be using state machine so the bank has a different transition right when somebody uh, try to open an account right you, when you are trying to transfer the money to somebody else so you need to check the state of your bank account. Do you have money? So in those kind of states, we'll be using a state machine project. Flowchart is again is a very easy one where you know how it how it flows depending on the conditions how it should run. We use a flowchart. Sequence is generally used for a small project. Okay, very very small projects which are very simple in nature. Sequence can be used. Flowchart is bit complex. Um, you know where you have to have multiple conditions. Uh, if this condition meets then jump on to some other thing that's where you'll be using a flow chart okay state machine all is like a state like i give you an example bank right if you want to design a board for the bank uh, is one of the example of state machine so we will see in the pre you know, upcoming chapters right now we'll focus on sequence let me click on sequence it is asking me a name so i'll give a first demo so the first one i have created a project inside that i'm creating a sequence so i can have multiple sequences created first demo project okay so now you can see this is getting stored here i'll just click on create so the the moment you click on create you know the sequence got created here and this is the place where i'll be dropping activity to start with i will drop a message box okay now this message box uh, i want to show uh, a text right so how do i show it so here so, so the caption right here i can give name you see hello right and here in the text i will say welcome to expo hub now there are two things i did here one is when you are writing uh, a text or a string, you have to put them in double quotes. 
right and here also you can see in the text field i have put them in w code so this is one of the way the moment i do it it has come here so now the right hand side is called the property panel okay so anytime you click on each activity the property panel is going to change so you can see that it is changing so here the, the entire thing this is the display name this is the button caption okay the button i can specify right okay okay cancel yes no cancel how you want okay so all these things can be can you know done in a message box uh, caption is hello it will come in the uh, top so let's quickly run it again we will come back so let me run this okay so you can see that the caption has come on the top of the message box and this is the welcome to expo hub is the message that i want to show it to the customer and you can see that two buttons which has come okay and cancel right so this is how you can design now uh, on the left hand side is the activities okay uh, this is the activities this is the project and snippets so activities is where you have to drag and drop all the different activities you want to demonstrate right let's say now i am going to use another activity called input dialog okay where i will ask the customer name so when i click on input dialog here again this is the caption the first one is caption so i say welcome to expo hub let's say i am going to type it welcome to expo hub and here i am going to say what is your name what is your name okay so the moment you type what is your name on the right hand side you have something called output on the property panel so whatever is typing i want to store in the output so what i will do i will use a variable so for that i will be using control k okay control k and here i am going to give the variable name as name so in this variable this is going to store so remember once you create a variable using control plus k okay control k and then you have typed the name the moment you do control k did you observe what has happened if you do control k the set variable something is going to come okay if it is not coming then again try control plus k hold the control and hit on k so that is how you are going to create the variable so once i have created the variable if i come to variable panel here okay you can say see the variable got created and it is having a variable type generic value this is the by default let's say generic value so you just click on this and then change it to string because name is a string type okay so depending on the variable you are creating you need to keep on changing all right so now what would happen once he enters his name i wanted to again show his name as a output okay so i will say so the name is state in so i will say your name is okay and then give a plus sign so your name is then a space and give a plus sign and here you write the variable so the variable is variable name is name so the moment you type it will come automatically all right so i have selected name so now you can see it will show your name is okay so let's run this and see how this is working let me save it click on run now it's saying welcome to expo hub then i can click on okay and then what is your name so i will say rakesh all right then click on okay then it's saying your name is rakesh so this is a basic project we have learned in sequence which is running from top to bottom okay then in the next video i will show you what is a workflow and how to create projects and couple of more things guys um there are three different buttons in the top one is the home right which will bring you to this page where you can start a new project it's saying process under the new project section you can create and you can see the recently created projects is available here right and then you have called design design is the panel where you will be designing the bot so you are dragging and dropping activities there are other options recording so there are so many videos i have created you can watch them one by one and you can practice over ui path and if you have not installed ui path again for that also i have a video you can download and how to set up ui path is another video you can see that and then there is another option here debug okay 
uh, very simple uh, you know and it is easy to learn so you can just go with the videos that are created and you can easily learn the entire ui path the debug section again <clears throat> this is for the debugging purpose there are any kind of exception how do you handle them when there are errors how do you handle them and things like that okay <coughs> so these are the different uh, things that you can do along with ui path all right so thank you for watching this video guys please do subscribe please do like and comment okay your comments are very valuable please do comments and like and subscribe this channel thank you guys have a wonderful day